So, beginner basics. Look, we all start somewhere. While, that, while I'm talking, just march in place. We all have to start somewhere. Some of us start right at the beginning. Some of us start with a bit of fitness, you know, a bit of background fitness. We might have done some a couple of years ago. We might have gone to the gym and then it all sort of, for whatever reason, life got in the way. Uh, we might have used to gone jogging or... I hear so many people say, yeah, I used to do this and other. I used to be a size 10. Uh, I don't know what happened. I, I, it doesn't matter what happened. Just start from today. Forget all of that. It doesn't matter. The past is just whatever. It's gone. So we'll do a side step as well. So just a, a step to the side. This is it. This is where you can start. I don't care. You don't need to be running, sprinting, going to spin class. You don't need to be doing anything. I just want today to talk to you mostly while we're moving about starting, about what to do, how to start. Don't be scared. Don't think, oh, I can't, oh, I'm, I'm, I don't know what, I, do. I might be expected to do this, that and the other. No, you're expected to get up off the couch. That's it. That's where you start. Feet a little bit apart. Bring your heels up. So, yeah. I started, what, 10 years ago, or a size 18. Uh, I'd previously given up smoking um, and drinking, gave it up completely, because I had to, for, for, for me. I'm not saying, you know, you, you can have a drink every now and again, there's nothing wrong with that really, but for me, I, I had to give it up completely. Uh, so that was my start. Then I joined an aerobics class once a week in a diet club which got me started, um, and that's all I needed. Feet back together and step back, back onto the ball of your foot. Uh, so that was my day one, walking into that class, thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? What's going on? And it was hilarious, I have to say. I wish I could have sort of, <laughs> I wish I could sort of see that day, me in that aerobics class with no coordination, no balance, watching all these people jumping about thinking oh wow but I joined in I did what I could do and I went back the week after and the week after and I kept going back we're going to go back to marching and put your arms in from there that that was that was my start I started buying DVDs um basic stuff the thing that I enjoyed most was like punching and kicking which uh it's probably still apparent now. Back to your side step and we're going to lift our arms out to the side. Started doing that. I progressed to finding a local, um, like a, a fitness studio. Crazy woman, but she was fantastic. I've never seen anybody like that in real life before. She was like smart of a magazine, my God. But she inspired me. She didn't frighten me, well... She was a bit scary, but she inspired me. So we're going to go back feet apart. We're going to bring those arms up. And this time we're going to bring our fists up. It's called a hammer curl. So yeah, I progressed to that. I eventually joined the gym. That was what I wanted to do because my goals changed. I was losing weight. I was getting fitter. And, and I was feeling brilliant. I was, I was sleeping better. I were eating better. I'd left the I'd left the diet club at this point because I, I felt I could do it myself and I could. I ended up losing around about 50 pounds. Um my waist went from I think it was 30, what was it, 32 to it's now 26 and a half. Some I think it was 32, but anyway, yeah. So marching feet slightly further apart. Put a bit more effort into it. You have to start somewhere. I'm not saying join a diet club. In fact, I'm definitely not saying that. But if that's what you want to do, if that works for you, then fine. All diets work in the exact same way. There's no all these, oh, this, that and other, and oh, combine these foods and knock those foods out. That's a load of rubbish. You need, you need healthy nutrition. But again... Don't worry too much about that right now. Just start somewhere. 
So back to that wider step this time and we're still lifting those arms up. Don't be frightened. Don't be frightened of, of getting off the couch and thinking, you know what, I'm doing it. Just do it. Don't keep thinking about it. Because you're going to get nowhere. So we're stepping a little wider now. Lifting those arms up. This is very basic stuff. I've done all this before in different videos. But this is all you need. You don't need anything complicated. So this time we're going to keep those feet wide and we're going to do a double on each side. Hamstring curl. A little bit of a dip with those knees. I'm not doing much at all today. This is literally it. Start with 10 minutes. 10 minutes a day. Do this a few times a week. And you've started. Then progress. Work it up gradually. Like I've said, go on YouTube. Buy a few cheap DVDs. Find beginner workouts on YouTube. You don't just have to follow mine. But if you do, fabulous. I've got loads of beginner ones. The law says something like beginner, um, low intensity, whatever. Try different things. So bring your feet back together. And this time we're going to step back and lift our arms up in front. Keep those shoulders down. Find things that you enjoy. Go for a walk. If you've got an old bike in shed, get it out. But don't do that thing people do. I'm going to start bike. I'm going to start cycling and try and cycle 50 miles or even five. Go around, go around the block. Go around your local streets. Don't go far because if you do, you will not be able to move the day after. Not worth it. Back to marching and just bring your knees up a little bit higher, if you can. It's all about technique, it's all about taking care of yourself, but it's all about pushing yourself because you're not going to get anywhere. If you don't feel a little bit out of breath, a little bit, oof, warm, then you haven't really done much. And again, if you're right at the beginning, you won't have to do much to get to that point. That's the point. That is the point. You start and it, it's tough, but it always has to be tough. And when it starts getting easier, you push a little bit harder. You do a little bit more. You go a little bit faster. Sidestep again. I'm stepping a little bit wider now. You progress at your pace, your level. You need aerobic exercise, stuff like this. Walking, jogging, swimming, cycling. You also need resistance, which is things like squats, lunges, um, push-ups even if it's against the wall, uh, things like that. Working your muscles, you need that too. So I would, I would alternate. I would do a, a walk maybe or a bike ride. Then the day after I'd do some, I'd sit down and stand up, sit down, stand up, um, things like that. That's, that's how you start with a squat. Uh, you know, do some of them. Then put your hands up against the wall, push out with a straight body, lower into the towards the wall, push back out, straighten your arms, um, stand, do things like this, raise your leg out to the side with your heel. This is resistance because it's slow and controlled. I'm working my muscles now. So this is resistance. So do a few of these. Then get your feet wide and sit back. Not far and push up. 
in fact just do a dip at first a little bit of a dip stick your bum back a little bit and then push back up through your heels this is how you start as you progress you can go further but it's slow and controlled movement for resistance things like this this is good this is how you start and like I've said, you can then, I'm going to be backwards, but you get out against the wall with your hands, step back and lower yourself into the wall with a straight body and push back out. You don't have to go far, you don't have to go right against the wall. That's how you start with a push up. Do those. more upper body stuff again you don't have to use a weight you can just raise up to the side what we were doing on the side step and then bring it up that's a good start lateral raise to a hammer curl resistance it's still resistance work or lift up all the way up and lower back down this is this is it this is your start do things like that right that's all i'm going to show you today beginner basics start somewhere but do start that was 10 minutes 10 minutes out of your life start just please try your best okie dokie fitness by susie we'll be doing more tomorrow but but if that's what you that's all you want to do for now do that but do it every day okie dokie I hope you've enjoyed it. Fitness by Susie. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.